this is a video I've been wanting to do for a really long time but I don't really know why I didn't do it right away it just probably was not I was not in the vibe of it but y'all can obviously see I'm wearing the same thing as my last video and I'm just like in a really good mood I'm in a good mood and I was like why don't I just do another video I might do a third one that's how good of a mood I'm in but y'all might be tired of this fit that I got on um it's obviously later in the day as the last video but I wanted to talk about the top five reasons I stopped being an RA and let me first explain what an RA is so RA is a resident assistant they have them in colleges um it's just students that basically are modern monitoring their fellow um students there or fellow comrades and those are their residents some places have different names for them but if you can piece together the description I'm giving then you can probably um, figure out what it's called on your campus or when you went to college or whatever so this let me give a disclaimer first this is not to discourage anybody to be an RA this is just my personal experience at the university I attended and mm, that's just that okay so the first reason I stopped being an RA because um, well, no, I don't want to say the first reason. I want to say the one of the reasons. One of the reasons I stopped being an RA was major to me because this was a major problem I had. I was too attached to my residents in the sense that they were very comfortable when it came to talking to me. And a lot of people say that they're just very comfortable talking to me. I'm just like, I'm just regular degular me. So I don't know. I don't know what it is. But yeah, they were very comfortable talking to me about things that were going on with them, whether it was like past, present. Um, they would let me know. And a lot of these things um, had to do with their like college life as well. So that's why they were telling me. And it really impact impacted me. There was even a time my first year being RA, I did not go to class because I just could not get over the fact that this is something someone was struggling with. I was also very concerned because, um, trigger warning, um, this person had approached me about feeling like they wanted to take their own life. And it was just like a lot for me. It was a toll because I had a lot of stuff going on personally that year. I was really struggling in school. Um, just like emotionally mentally all that so then to hear this it was just making me sad and I don't even know if this is a real thing I read somewhere that it's not but I just always thought it was and I believe that I'm an empath like I just take on the emotions of others when people tell me stuff and then also I had a resident that told me repeatedly time repeatedly that she um was sexually assaulted and how she didn't get the proper help that she was promised so she would always talk about that and like when I would tell um the higher-ups or anybody that's supposed to take care of it they're like oh well you know she was drunk so um when she was telling me so we can't really rely on that word and I'm, that to me it's just like you can't evaluate 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 how you say that word you can't make somebody's what someone's telling you not to be uh, true or trying to not verify. Well, not verify, but basically, y'all trying to treat her like Wikipedia when she's a scholarly source, you know? That type of thing. Like, they were really trying to make it seem like that. And that was just really sad to me because... It was a lot of stuff that went into it. She didn't really have the support around her with friends. Like, she was good friends with people, but they just couldn't understand where she was coming from. And then she also had to work around um, her attacker as well. So, it was just, like, stuff like that. It was, it was very, it was very, like, uh, heartbreaking to me. And I felt a close tie to that. So, that was the first reason that I was just, like, and actually, that was one of the reasons that I did not think I was going to reapply the following year. But I ended up doing so to do my second year. Um, and yeah, it was just was not, it was not it. 
Um, the second reason I stopped being an RA, I just kind of felt like even though they they said that they did, they really didn't. They said that they um, put your education first before anything, and that was not the case. My GPA dropped so bad my first year being RA because of the time commitments that they had for us. We had three meetings a month. So there was a monthly meeting, a bi-weekly meeting, and then a weekly meeting. A weekly meeting was um as a group and then our bi-weekly meeting was a one-on-one -on -one with our supervisor and ourselves and then the monthly meeting was as a full staff like everybody and to me i just felt like all those meetings were extremely excessive like i could be working on homework and it was just a real big 360 because my freshman year of college i took 16 credits that's over the average but it still wasn't a lot for me like I think it's yeah 16 15 credits the average is 12 that's like what a lot of people will take or um, it also covers your financial aid like you need a minimum of 12 to 13 I believe and I took um, 15 16 but since I was a double major I was actually supposed to be taking 18 credits so my second um, semester of my freshman year I started taking 18 and it was just the glory of God that allowed me to be successful in that because it was a lot of work and it was something I had to continue to do obviously so I'm taking 18 credits I'm excuse me I'm an RA then I was also part of clubs and I also did work study job another work study job so it was a lot of things and yes I could have dropped the work study job but the other stuff it was like this is education. I need to be at these things. And they're like, oh, well, you can do your homework when you're on duty. But that's not impossible. It takes like 30 minutes to get to each building on each floor. Then you come back to the office. By the time you sit down for five minutes, you got to do another round. So it was like things like that. I was like, y'all are not really thinking in a realistic way of how to deal with this. And they didn't really find like a good solution of how to like fix this or how to go about this. And I just kind of felt like they were just brushing it under the rug. They weren't really concerned about our education. They were more concerned about the job. And it just was not for me. Three, the third reason I stopped being an RA. So the third reason has to do more with staff stuff. And the fourth one will also have to do with staff. So the third reason, because of the fact that I was a new RA person and I was only... This person, what I feel, um, I was the only black person in my staff and like my small group staff. They thought that there were certain things that was okay and it really was not. One, the person that was an RA, I think like how many times you can be an RA for like three, four years or something like that. They would like try to push stuff on me or like things that they were supposed to handle they wouldn't do that they would have me do it and I didn't know at the time until I reported it to the supervisor and like they spoke to the super they talked yeah the supervisor spoke to that person and she went back and told me and was like oh um it's because he they were going through a lot of things. So we're all going through a lot of things in this life. Doesn't mean I'm pushing my work onto other people. Like that's not an excuse at all. So that was just another reason I could not deal with being an RA. Um, also, to, there was times where like people were supposed to like cover for me, and that was very rare because I would often pick up shifts for other people. But um, they were supposed to cover for me and then they called me at the place that I told them I needed to be covered at and they were like oh I forgot I had this going on so that I had to leave my own function to go back there which some people will be like oh no I would have just not picked up my phone but in my mind I would have been like oh is this an emergency or not you know so yeah it was just like things like that I just didn't really feel like I was being respected and to tie into that number four Number four, I just had a lot of conflicts with my supervisors. They were just very disrespectful. They did not respect black women. Um, <laughs> I gotta say blunt and clean like that. Um, there were several instances where, um, kind of like what I said in the first one, when people talk to me, they find themselves to be very comfortable talking to me, which I appreciate. I'm glad that people feel comfortable talking to me. But that can also be a problem. Um, they, they thought that since like, I was cool I guess or like 
spoke to them on a casual level that I would let things slide when I wouldn't even let it ice skate. Like, there were certain things that was just, it was not okay with me. Like, I had a, well, not a professor, a supervisor that, like, cursed at me. And I told my mom on her because why would you think that's okay? I'm not understanding. So that was one reason but that wasn't even the major thing and you would think that would be the major thing but then i had another supervisor who thought that she could talk to us anyhow like after she uh she replaced our previous supervisor that was done with school she thought she could talk to us anyhow and like i don't know what she's used to but it obviously was not me like i just was baffled by that and yeah, she was just, like, very sarcastic. She was very sarcastic, but she was also just, like, downright rude. And she said, well, you know, I'm from this state, so, you know, we're just very blunt there. Duh, duh, duh. But you're from a farm area in that state, so what are you talking about? You're saying it like you're from the city. So it was just things like that. I just, I was not here for that. Just because you're a supervisor, I don't think that's an excuse to be disrespectful. Like, that's not it. So that was one of the reasons and then the last reason I stopped being an RA so the last reason I stopped being an RA was because and I don't want this to be twisted in a in a way that you know I don't want it to be twisted in a way because I know how you girls like to tussle <laughs> but I just noticed that a lot of the people I was friends with or cool with they thought because I was an RA, they would be getting special privileges or passes because I was an RA. Um, and it also kind of went in the opposite that some people just wanted to distance themselves from me, which you weren't my friend to begin with then, okay? You were not my friend to begin with if that was the case. But yeah, they just thought it was just the time to get special privileges off of me. Some... Um, this is this is someone I'm cool with, but I just didn't really like this at the time. They like told not even my supervisor, like someone even higher up than my supervisor, that I said it was okay for them to stay in their room longer than they were supposed to because it was time for everyone to move out. And I was like, huh? And this was their mother that was calling, like, yeah, my son said that he was really cool with uh, the RA, and she said it was okay. I said. I those type of power I don't have that privilege like I don't it's not up to me so you know the person approached me and they're like oh they're saying that they're still gonna charge me I said yeah you didn't discuss that with me I didn't know about this then I could have told you that from the jump that they was gonna charge you but instead you went around and just assumed oh I'm cool with Tolu so it's cool I don't have that type of power okay so it was just like things like that. Um, and I just kind of thought it was like a lot of things were just not really respectful for my job because some of these people, not the last person I was talking about, but some of these people, I was not even that close or cool with them my freshman year. Like they didn't even like me. They did not like me. So it was just odd to me that they thought like, oh, I'm so glad you're all right, da da da. Bro, I will snitch on you. I do not care. We are not cool. Like, just because I'm your RA does not mean that it's about to be kumbaya time. But, yeah. It was just things like that. It was just, mm-mm. RA. And you know what? This is something, just a little side note. At the, um, not the end. The following year when I was no longer an RA, because I did, it was an RA for two years, two out of the three years that you can be an RA, um, they, well, I could have did three and a half, but I don't really know if they would have approved that. But anyway, the following year, a lot of the people I was on staff with, like, did be returned as an RA. And they were just talking about all the horror stories that were going on. The person that took over, how she was just changing everything. She wanted to overwork them. Especially since it was like COVID. There was a lot of protocol, especially with like people that were quarantining in their rooms. They had to deliver the food to them and put it outside their door uh, with no extra pay or anything. I think their pay even decreased. I don't know. I don't want to say that for sure. But it was just like a lot of things were going on. They were being overworked. And 
disrespect it and i was they were like yeah you're really lucky that you did not apply like you really dodged one with that one and it was like i knew this was gonna happen because once they announced that that person was taking over i knew it was gonna be upside down inside out so yeah that's why i stopped being an ra everyone has their own experience i know some people say that they would not be able to survive in college without being an ra so Everyone is different, but I just know for me, when I stopped being RA, my g grades went up, my GPA went up, I was able to do a lot more, I felt like I was a lot more happier on campus, and I relaxed more. But then that was also kind of stressful because my personality, I can't, I just can't relax, I have to always be doing something. So, I just picked up a little club, picked up more at work. That was actually, I was able to work in the admissions office, so that was really cool. That's actually where my hoodie is, I'm an admissions alumni. And before, I wouldn't have been able to do that because they had the thing where you can't be an RA and work in the admissions office, which didn't make sense to me because somehow some people were able to navigate around that. But that's what they had told me when I wanted to um, work in certain offices. But yes, that's pretty much it. I will see y'all in the next video. Y'all have a good day. Bye.